Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to write our first ever python script for controlling the GPIO of node MCU using Tony ID. Let's get started. So the blinking of onboard LED that is available in node MCU using python script is considered as the similar hello world program in C programming language. In the last video we just uh, tried to build our first ever python script for printing this particular hello world onto our python cell and in this particular video we are just going to try to control the onboard led that is we are just going to try to control the output pins of node mcu or esp8266 using our python script let's get started so i'm just going to close this particular uh, hello world.py and I am going to create a new file just click on this particular icon or click control plus n for creating new file I am going to save this just give control yes and select this computer for saving the file in your computer and just going to the same folder of python programs for node mcu and I am going to give the name of led blink so this will be saved in the .py format that is python file format as soon as you save the file and the python script for controlling the led goes like this so before going to the scripts we will try to find out the pin to which the leds in the node mcu is connected so you can see this is the node mcu and here you can see we have an onboard led in node mcu and also we have another onboard led that is located right over here so we will try to blink these two leds this particular led right over here and this particular led right over here simultaneously so that we can visualize the blinking process of these two leds in the node mcu hardware so this is what we are going to do and for finding to which GPIO pin of ESP8266 these two LED is connected you just need the schematic layout of this particular board right over here. So this is the node MCU or ESP8266 development board. So we just want to know the GPIO pin to which this particular LED is connected as well as GPIO pin to which this particular led is connected so that you can control the state of the onboard led that is the state of these two onboard leds in our node mc so for finding that you can just go to google and type in like node mcu schematic layout and you will be diverted to the github page right over here i am just going to the github page and you can see this is the schematic layout of node mcu and from this analysis of schematic layout i found out that the pin 2 is having one led connected and gpio pin 16 is having one led connected so we are just going to perform the blinking operation of uh, pin 2 and pin 16. So as the first step we just want to import two different uh, libraries or scripts that is missing and another one is uTime. So this mission is useful for controlling the onboard GPIOs, peripherals, etc. And this uTime is useful for using several functions like time delay function, etc. So for the purpose of using the delay functions for generating time delays between two events, we will be using this particular uTime. And for importing or for accessing GPIO pins, we will be using this particular machine library. And let me just 
define a variable of led1 and i'm going to load the value of that led1 with pin 16 and i'm going to assign or configure this particular pin as output pin and after this i am just going to create an infinite loop that is while of true this while of true is nothing but the infinite loop that we will be writing in an embedded program so the program never ends and it will be held inside this while loop until the microcontroller stopped or the soc is stopped we just want to few, write few lines inside the while loop right over here that is infinite loop right over here so i'm just going to click on enter from here and as soon as i click on enter you can clearly see my cursor is entered inside the while loop which means that is indented from the first line from here to here so if i start the line from here that means we are skipping the while loop at the top so if you want to write something inside the while loop you just want to provide proper indentation for the python script so i am just starting the program from here so that whatever i am writing will be executed inside the while loop so here i am just going to give led1 of value 0 and in the u time i am just going to use the function sleep ms of 500 again i am just going to write the value 1 and again i am just going to sleep ms of 500 so the sleep ms is nothing but 500 millisecond delay sleep ms of 500 denotes that we are just providing a delay of 500 millisecond so here we are turning off the pin and we are waiting for 500 millisecond and again we are turning on the pin and we are waiting for 500 millisecond so this is what we are going to perform so i am just saving the script and i am going to tools options and in the interpreter i am just going to select the micro python esp8266 since i am using that particular node in cu and in this port i am just selecting the respective com to which the node mc is connected and i am clicking on ok now i am just going to click on this particular icon or f5 in my keyboard for loading this particular script onto my node mc and in my node mc now you can see clearly the onboard led which is connected to gpio 16 is blinking at a rate of 500 milliseconds that is for first 500 milliseconds it is turned on and for the next 500 milliseconds it is turned off and this process is continued in an infinite loop since we wrote this particular four lines inside the while of true and as i mentioned the second led is connected to pin 2 so let me just define another variable of led 2 and i am going to assign the value of that particular variable with gpi about 2 and i am configuring that particular pin also as output and in addition of pin 2 what i will do is i will just write value of led2 here to be 1 and here i am just going to write value of led2 to be zero so what happens here is here one led will be turned on and one led will be turned off and it will wait for final millisecond and in the next cycle the next led will be turned on and the previous led will be turned off and it will wait for final millisecond second so that we can visualize an output of at least one led turned on at every 500 millisecond cycle so we can see a toggling of leds for every 500 millisecond on our node mcu so the logic is like that here 
in the first cycle of 500 millisecond one led will be turned on and another led will be turned off and in the next 500 millisecond cycle the vice versa toggling of led will happen that is the first led will be turned off and the second led will be turned on so regarding this particular program of led blink it is very very simple we are using this mesen library and utime library and using this mesen library we will be able to configure each and every pin as input or output etc and we are declaring a variables like led1 led2 and using this particular value function we are able to write the value of gpo pin whether it is high or low or 0 or 1 we are able to write it and using this library u time we are utilizing this particular function sleep ms for providing intentional delay in the program in milliseconds so here we are providing a delay of 500 milliseconds that is half a second and you can also provide various delays like one second two seconds etc that's it so i'm just saving this script and i'm going to load it onto my node mcu and you can see in my node mcu development board both the leds which is connected to gpao2 and gpao16 is toggling at a rate of 500 milliseconds that is each led is toggling its state alternatively when first led is turned on second led is turned off and when second led is turned on first led is turned off so both the leds which is connected to gpao2 and 16 is blinking at a rate of 500 milliseconds so this is the output which i got in my hardware see you in the next video thanks for watching